fate of Somali soldiers sent to train in Eritrea has become a major scandal for many inside and outside of government in Somalia. The administration of President Mohamed Formajo originally avoided the issue when it was revealed earlier this year. Later, his office confirmed that Somalis were sent to be trained by the Eritreans. Thousands were sent, many for two years. Hundreds were expected to have completed their training and returned to Somalia by the middle of the year. The government denied rumors that Somalis were sent to the conflict in Ethiopia's Tigray province, which borders Eritrea. Addis Ababa confirmed that Eritrean forces crossed the border. There have been several reports of those troops taking part in atrocities in Tigray. A new United Nations report on human rights in Eritrea once again put Somalis at the site of the conflict and the potential war crimes. Formaggio administration officials continue to deny that Somali soldiers have fought in Tigray or have been deployed to Aksum. They are not denying that Somali soldiers might be deployed in other areas of Tigray. And they accuse their critics of trying to publicize national security secrets. But that is not stopping Somali political leaders from demanding answers. Somali political leaders are demanding answers. So are many parents of soldiers who have taken their pleas to the streets. And some journalists, such as the Voice of America's Harun Marouf, are demanding undeniable evidence of the allegations. Former President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud blasted Formaggio and his team. The leaders are the ones who face the people and tell them the truth, even if it is bitter. Bring back the boys. Former President Sharif Sheikh Ahmed has demanded an investigation. Wajadir party leader Abdi Rahman Abdi Shakur has called for answers from Formaggio himself. Legislator Abdirizak Mohammed has called on Prime Minister Mohamed Roble to tell the public the truth. It is no surprise that this has Formaggio in hot water. His close ties with the leaders of Ethiopia and Eritrea are well known. And he has used military muscle to try and intimidate his opponents locally. Roble has been the white knight of late the outsider who brought opponents together to hammer out an election deal. This situation started before his tenure began, but he could be tainted by it. His predecessor, Hassan Ali Khari, also a presidential contender, is now receiving scrutiny for what he knows. Several influential personalities have demanded he explain on social media. As opposition candidates start to distinguish themselves, this could be damaging to his leadership chances. Of course, intelligence chief Fahad Yassin, a popular opposition boogeyman, is also being challenged for his role. Yassin keeps a low profile, and his future appears to be tied to Formaggio no matter what. It would appear that at least three of these four figures will need to provide some answers. This latest controversy could bring shame upon top officials and sorrow to Somali soldiers' families. ADN TV will continue to post updates as details of the unfolding scandal become clear.